<laughs> Let's begin. Mrs. Chestnut, how old are you and when and where were you born? Please, Frank, call me Mary. Well, I am 40 years old and I was born on March 31st, 1823 in Statesburg, South Carolina. When you were younger, you lived in the South on your father's plantation, correct? Yes, sir. How would you describe your education? As a child, I was taught at home by my parents and attended schools in Camden. At age 13, I was sent to a French boarding school in Charleston. Unfortunately, soon after, I was brought back home to help out on the plantation. My education was not the best, but it was sufficient. I continued to learn even when not attending school and made the best of my situation. With your somewhat restricted education, what profession are you able to pursue? When I married John, I traveled around with him and didn't really have a set job. He became Senate and my job was to attend events with him and always be around for him. When the war started, I, so I traveled, um, as I traveled with my husband, I began to write diaries of my encounters. I didn't really write them to publish, but to just get my feelings out on paper. We're in a little bit of debt, so I have started to try my hand at writing fiction, but I haven't gotten around to editing them. If you had to pinpoint a profession, that would be it. As of right now, and with the coming future, what do you think your importance to history is and will be? Well, as I have touched upon a little bit before, my journals describing the war are the key important things of my life right now. I am not quite sure who will send them, see them, when they will be finished, whenever this war ends, and I'm not sure whether I will try to publish them. My journals will be important even if they are not published because whoever may read them is reading them into my life and my experiences. If this is the way I am to be remembered by my journals, then this will be my importance to history. Now, Mary, do, why do you think this war is important? You see, this war is about a couple of things. Whether people want to say it, better yet hear it, this war is about slavery in some ways. The other aspect of this war is the unity of the country. No matter what side you are on, you have to acknowledge that this war could make or break our home. I see what you mean. And that is where the importance of this war lays. It is in what outcome will come from this war. You are somewhat involved with this war and have some experience dealing with it. Can you tell me about it? I travel around with my husband, John, and yes, I would like to say that I have some experience, first-hand experience. I witness all the horrors and unsettling visuals of this war. After seeing the things I've seen, I have come to tolerate the image. Other than that, I cannot say that I have much interaction experience other than helping when needed. <clears throat> Mary, after reading your books, I understand what you must be feeling. What first hand experience what other first hand experiences have you had from traveling with your husband? You must have some. Well, I guess I would also tend to the wounded, many of whom were my close friends. Though it was hard, the mourning of my acquaintances was especially difficult. It seemed as if these people would come into your life only to be found dead and wounded on the battlefield. Wow, you seem quite passionate on the subject. Did you agree with all the decisions that were made by the generals? No. If it were up to me, women would be more than half of this war. We would be fighting and leading the troops to victory. The generals are too easy to criticize. They would go into battle as if all they wanted to do was destroy everything in their path. You must have had a hard time dealing with the war. Yes, I did. The thing I missed most without war is friendship. Living a carefree life, knowing that you would go to bed with the same sense of security that you felt when you woke up that morning. Every day during that war, I would wake up terrified that my husband would be killed and never to be seen again. You must be so glad that it's over. What do you think this country will become? 
Well, I, I really do think that this country will become better, whether slavery is demolished or if it goes on, as long as our country is unified as one. I think that this war will be very beneficial. Well, thank you, Miss Mary Chestnut. I hope you have a very nice day and come talk to me about your books if you would like to. Thank you, Frank. Have a nice day.